life was not meant to be uh, always a struggle. Uh, there are struggles and there's strength in the struggle. Can anybody say amen? amen? But there is also the grace of God. And Jesus said, take my yoke upon you. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. Jesus does not come into our lives to place a burden upon us. He comes into our lives to remove the burdens from us. And there's something powerful about realizing that God is first in your life. And so often we mistakenly think that the idea of putting God first somehow means that we have to do all of the sacrificing. But when we put it in perspective, God first means that he was the first one to create you. He was the first one to think of you. You were God's idea. He was the first one to sacrifice for you and to sacrifice for me. God first means he was the first one to love me, the first one to forgive me, the first one to understand me, the first one to accept me unconditionally, the first one to love me unconditionally, the first one to call me, the first one to give me a purpose, the first one to give me a destiny, the first one. You know, the devil will try to give you a destiny, but I'd rather have God's destiny for my life. How about you? You know, the devil will give you a purpose, but I'd rather have God's purpose for my life. How about you? You know, the devil will give you a reason to live for greed and selfishness and fear and anxiety and worry and power and money. But I'd rather go with God's purpose and God's reason for living. Amen. To glorify him and to to be all that he created us to be. You were God's idea. Say, I was God's idea. He was the first one to think about you, the first one to love you. You know, this morning he already had you on his mind. You know, he wasn't sleeping while you were sleeping, but you know what he was doing? He was blessing you while you're su- yes. while you were sleeping and he was thinking about you while you were sleeping. And the Bible says he said, my thoughts for you are so many and so great that they would outnumber the sands of the seashore. His thoughts for you. He's been thinking about you all night. When you woke up today, he's like, yay. I've been waiting for you. I'm so happy to see you. I'm so happy you woke up today. I'm so happy I woke you up today. You know, the alarm might have woke you up, but God woke you up first. How many know how many times you set the alarm and you wake up five minutes before it or 10 minutes before it and you think, okay, I'm going to get a little five or 10. But maybe that was God waking you up just to spend a few minutes with him. And you know what? Sometimes I just wake up. I just start praying in the Holy Spirit in the morning. Sometimes I even fall asleep praying in tongues. You know, a little snooze in the spirit. (laughs) Snoozing in the spirit. Woo! Boy, he's just thinking about you. He's crazy about you. God's not mad at you. He's mad about you. Hey, thanks for joining me today. I want you to know how grateful I am. And if you want more content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button so that we can stay connected. I also want to invite you to join me live every Sunday right here on the Gregory Dickow YouTube channel for our Sunday morning worship experience featuring music and worship from Life Changers Worship and a powerful word from the Lord Jesus Christ to you. We go live every Sunday at 9 a.m. Central Time. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Hit the notifications bell so you don't miss it. I can't wait to see you next time. God bless.